Hello everyone, we will continue the topic SAP ABAP new syntax and we are covering the new features of Open SQL. And as a part of that, firstly we discussed yes, whenever we will fetch the data, the separator between the columns is comma. All data objects are called as host variables and they must be prefixed with at the rate. Then I showed you, yes, we can use the conditional statement like case in the query itself. We can use the literals in the query itself. We can use the aggregate functions in the query itself. Now we can use the arithmetic expressions also in the query itself. Arithmetic expression means you can go for plus, you can go for minus, you can go for multiplication, you can go for division, mode, absolute, floor, seal. So we can use all these things in the query itself. Previously, what you were doing, what we were doing, if we want to go for any arithmetic expression, firstly you need to bring the data on the application layer, and after that you can apply the arithmetic expression. Now this is not the case. If you know the new features of Open SQL. By fetching the data itself, we can go for arithmetic expression. Suppose if I will show you the example, then we will develop same to same kind of example. Suppose if we don't know the new feature of open SQL, firstly, we are fetching the data from database table. After the data is on the application layer, then we are going for arithmetic expression. This minus is your arithmetic expression. So in this that case, firstly you need to bring the data on the application layer. Then you can go for arithmetic expression. But based upon the new features of Open SQL, while fetching that data itself, I can go for arithmetic expression. Have you seen? I am using minus in this query itself. I am using minus in this query itself and I am simply displaying. So just see how effective it is. The role of application layer is nothing. From the database itself, you are fetching the data, whatever is required and you are simply displaying the data. So the role of application layer is completely, completely minimized. Now what we will do, I will take a requirement Firstly, I will show you if we don't know the new features of Open SQL, how we are going for arithmetic expressions. If we know the new features of Open SQL, how we can go for arithmetic expression. So I will take an example. Suppose I will go for a table. The name of the table is S flight. S flight. If I will display this table, this flight, this table is all about flight information. You can see in this table, we have three primary keys, airline code, flight connection number and flight date. These three are the primary keys of the table. Now, if I will simply execute or if I will go for contents of the table, firstly, we will understand the requirement. User will pass the CAR ID, CAR ID means user will pass the airline code. What is the code of the airline? User will pass the flight number, flight number, and user will pass the flight date. You can simply understand. We have some airline, what is the flight number, and what is the flight date? So these three are the primary keys. Suppose I will execute. User will put the airline code user will put the a flight number and user will put the date. Whenever user will put these three things, we will go for this maximum capacity of the seats, occupied capacity of the seats. You can see if maximum seat is 385 and occupied seat is 367, then how many vacant seats are there? 385 minus 367 AD. Suppose this seat max and seat occupied column. If I will see, these are the column of the economic class. Suppose 
will go for business class also. So we will take these four columns. If I will go for the contents of the table, if I will execute, so we will pass the airline code, flight number and date, and we will fetch that data of these four columns. This is for economic class. This is for economic class. This is for business class. This is for business class. Now, what the requirement is, user wants to check how many vacant seats are there. So it means we'll fetch this. We will fetch this. Whenever we will subtract, we will get the vacant seat. We'll fetch this. We will fetch this. Whenever we will subtract, we will get the vacant seat. So this is the arithmetic expression we will use. Now just think, we don't know the new syntaxes. If we don't know the new features of OpenSQL, how, how we can achieve this particular requirement, we will go for that. So I will go for SC38 transaction. I will develop a program, suppose ZPRG, new syntax, suppose arithmetic. I will go for create. I will give the title demo on arithmetic expressions. I will go for save. Okay, I'll choose that type. Sorry, I forgot to choose that type. I will save this as a local object. Suppose at a time, user will be only, only able to put single airline, single flight number or single date. You all know whenever we will go for single things, you can take parameters. So I will go for parameters. I will go for this back button. We'll copy paste. P underscore care ID. Type data element of care ID. Airline code. Parameters. Suppose I will go for flight number. P underscore. Con ID. Type. This is your flight number. Sorry. I guess correctly copy pasted. I will go for third parameter. P underscore. Flight date. Type. We'll go for data element of flight date. We'll provide the selection text. Go to text elements, selection text. I'll choose DDIC reference. So these three are from data element. These descriptions are from data element. Suppose we will make all these three as obligate. So that user is compulsory, user has to compulsory pass these three things. So it will get a single record. I'll come on to that part. Now we need to fetch the data of these four columns. One, two, three, four. You all know whenever you want to fetch the data from database table, data will come on the application layer. It means we want an internal table. If we want an internal table, we have to create a structure type. So I will go for structure type. Anyways, whenever we we'll go for new syntaxes, we will not go for structure type. Begin of LTY underscore data. What is first column? Seeds max type. Data element of seeds max. Second column, seats occupied, type, data element of seats occupied. Now we will go for seats max. This is for business class, type, data element of this. Now we will go for seats occupied, type, data element of this. We will end this particular structure. I will declare internal table and work area. Okay. I There is no need for internal table. I will tell it, you know, I am directly declaring a work area. Because we are passing everything. 
एलडब्ल्यू ए डेटा टाइप एल टी बाई अंडरस्कोर डेटा वेन एवर आई विल राइट द क्वेरी आई विल लेट ओके वी आर पासिंग ऑल द थ्री कीज we are passing all the three primary keys and all three are obligatory if you will pass all the three things you all know you will get a single record single record if you are getting a single record why there is a need of internal table we can directly take into work area but it is totally your wish if you want to take into internal table then you can read at index one you have to move it to work area but we know single record is there because we are passing all the three things so we will go for select single into work area so i will write select single seats max seats occupancy seats max underscore b business class seats occupy underscore business class from from which table we are fetching as flight we we'll store into work area into work area there is no need to use into table because we are directly taking into work area now in the where condition we need to pass all the three things where care id is equal to p underscore care id and con id is equal to p underscore con id and f l d a t e is equal to p underscore f l d a t e we are passing all the three things that's why i put select single now in this work area you will get all the things so now i will activate now we want to go for vacant seats so if we want to go for vacant seats it means i need to subtract this i need to subtract this from this this from this so how i will write the logic i will declare two variables suppose i am saying data lv underscore suppose seats underscore economic class suppose i have put e suppose i you all know in case of integer there is no need to specify the length lv underscore seats underscore p business class type i now i will go for writing the logic lv underscore seats underscore e is equal to work area hyphen seats max now arithmetic expression minus sorry this is seats max now we have lwa data hyphen seats occupants so we are subtracting so that we can get the vacant seats now i will go for simply write statement suppose i will go for text symbol because we should not hard code text hyphen 000 lv underscore seats underscore e same way i will write the logic for business class lv underscore seats underscore b it is your seats max underscore b seats occupancy underscore b and it is your b suppose i will make this as what now we will go for text symbol i'll use slash also so that output will be new line i will activate and we will go for text symbols go to text elements text symbol 0 0 i will write economy class vacant seats then we have 0 0 1 business class 
vacancies. I will activate. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we covered that now based upon the new features of OpenSQL, you can use the arithmetic expression also in the query. Arithmetic expression means plus addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, mode, absolute value, floor, seal. You can use all these arithmetic expression while fetching the data. So what we did, we took a requirement. User will put the airline code, this airline number, so flight number and flight date. And we want the vacant seats in the economic class and in the business class for that particular flight. So what we did, we simply fetch the data from the database table. And there's no need for internal table because we are passing all the three things. Single input is there. All three things we are passing. All three are obligatory. So we directly put into the work area. And after that, to calculate the seats in the economy and business class, we simply subtracted and we are printing the result. And for this, we have not hard coded the text. We use the text symbol. Now just see, if we don't know new features of OpenSQL, you need to bring the data. After that, you need to apply the operations on the application layer. Now in the next video, firstly, we will understand in the debugging mode. Then I will show you how we can write this query. In the query itself, I can go for arithmetic expression and we will directly get the output. So that's it in this particular video. Thank you.